Yo, it's Poppy YouTube Bloody here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Conqueror's current state for honor. Now, a lot of you know the Conqueror as being this annoying character who only shield bashes all day every day, right? Because he can't use anything else. Well, unfortunately, guys, that is the Conqueror now, right? Emphasis on now. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the changes that they made to the Conqueror, uh, how they can fix it, and uh, how he's looking right now. Okay, so what I noticed myself, I don't, I, I didn't see this in the patch notes, to be completely honest. I don't know, maybe I did, but I can't understand for the life of me what the hell that means. So if you do know what that means, please let me know down in the comments because I, I, I'm fucking dumbfounded. Uh, but what I mean by that, that he can no longer shield bash uh, and light right after somebody dodges him is uh, before the update, oh, or well before the 1.05, uh, he could actually uh, shield bash them and if he missed, he could immediately light right after and still hit them. Uh, but after the update, they they added a little delay, so where after if you miss a shield batch, you can't immediately do it, and they could go in for a guard break, which is gonna lead into the next con. But uh, for now, that is that is one little thing that I noticed for myself. So if you guys have experienced this at all, please let me know down in the comments below. Now, as you guys heard me say in the last con, uh, <laughs> that he gets counter guard broken right after a shield bash. Uh, yeah, that is true. Somebody, he cannot get counter guard break right after a shield bash. Now, this wasn't the case in the 1.05 update, but people kept preaching it would be soft to nerf him because he was absolutely unstoppable, which I completely disagree with, by the way. Now, according to many people, this completely nerfed the Conqueror all the way to the ground, which I kind of disagree with. Now, the third con that I've noticed about the Conqueror. He doesn't have a good mix-up, guys. Uh, now, the only ones that I've actually noticed that, he, that I see other Conquerors doing, and myself included, is that he does a shield bash light, a shield bash heavy and um, shield bash and then another heavy and then a uh, 50 50 chancing it now many people may argue that 50 50 chancing it isn't a mix up uh but uh yeah i have to agree with you there i think it's a more of a strategy than a mix up but it still does work all right now i'm going to talk about some of the pros that i've noticed about the conqueror while playing him now the first one that i've noticed about him is that most people who have been main conqueror still don't know he can faint so which makes him think that you have to commit to every attack he throws out which, in theory, is an advantage because uh, a lot of people don't expect you to uh, to do a full block stance and then they'll be left out with a with throwing a heavy and then you can parry them. Now, the second part that I've noticed about the Conqueror is uh, that he's not being forced to parry a lot more often than he used to be. Now, a lot of you Conqueror mains are probably already thinking, like, how is parrying going to help the Conqueror at all in any situation? Now, this kind of leads back into my first tip where people who don't main the Conqueror don't know that he can faint which are most likely going to be Orochis and Kenseis and stuff like that, but that's beside the point. Now, they'll basically have to predict him shield bashing so they can get a free guard break. Now, this has happened to me a couple of times before where the people that I've gone up against have gone in for a guard break right after I've done shield bash. Now, in my eyes, they got they went in for it right after a shield bash, but I still got the chance to kind of guard break it. Now, hopefully this isn't a glitch or bug or anything, and Ubisoft actually did implement this, realizing that the Conqueror would be completely useless if, the, if people could guard break him right after or pretty much like a second after he's um he's done his shield bash all right now for the third pro that i've actually noticed about the conqueror is that it is very difficult for the enemy to get a successful guard break after he has done a shield bash they basically have to predict him shield bashing in order for them to get a free guard break because if they don't they're, then they're not going to get that free guard break all right now for the last question of the day is do i think the conqueror needs a buff the answer is no guys, I feel that he just needs a wider variety of attacks in his arsenal so that he can use them and he won't be known as this shield bashing character who doesn't know anything else and uh, to be completely honest, Ubisoft did this to the Conqueror. Because if the Conqueror did have a wider variety of attacks uh, that he could be using, I am most certain that a lot of Conquerors would be using it because it would definitely help them out. Because whenever you go up against a Conqueror, what do they do guys? They shield bash, right? So this is a, an extreme disadvantage because a lot of a lot of people know that he's going to shield bash, so they're going to try to punish the fuck out of him when he does. But that is just my opinion, everybody. Now, if you do have a different point of view, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I am extremely open to other people's point of view, and if I did miss anything, please feel free to let me to let me know down below. Now, this video was extremely fun for me to make because I love talking about the Conqueror and whether he needs a buff or a nerf or he needs a little tweak here or there because he's my main. I love him. Now, talking about love, if you guys did love this video, please feel free to leave a like on it if you did enjoy it, because it definitely does help me out a lot and it lets me know that I'm doing something right. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. It's been Bloody Envious, and I'm out. Peace.